course, like with everybody, major challenges since the lockdown for Social Bite and for our sector as a whole. Um, huge concerns about people affected by homelessness and how they would cope and manage through the lockdown. So uh, many folk not having a safe place to self-isolate, not having facilities to wash properly, um, being reliant on services for food and support that weren't necessarily going to be there. So big concerns and challenges for people affected by homelessness. And then, you know, at the same time for Social Bite as a social enterprise, then real worries about being a hospitality business. So we have seven cafes, we have a restaurant, we have corporate catering business. So how are we going to contend with that trade falling off a cliff edge? So, you know, huge concerns as a hospitality business as well. And yeah, yeah, obviously a time of great concern and challenge uh, like it has been for everybody. So because we weren't going to be able to operate normally, so in normal circumstances, we would be delivering sandwich platters and cakes uh, to businesses across Scotland. And we knew we weren't gonna be able to do that because we would have no business. Uh, and it became clear, well, actually we could flip what we do normally and instead produce food and deliver that out to people in need. So both homeless community as well as community organisations supporting children, families, the elderly across Scotland. So that's what we set about doing. Uh, and then the other aspect that we've continued to do is to run a free food giveaway out of our cafes for two hours each weekday so to ensure that anybody that was unsure of where they could get food they could still get food at Social Bite uh, safely for a couple of hours each weekday and um, that's something we've maintained and we've been you know used all the, of our um, uh, commitment and passion to keep going uh, during this time to keep serving people so yeah that's what we've set about doing during this time. The main thing that characterised our response has just been that determination to keep helping. So the team was very much wanting to see how could we overcome the barriers to, to supporting people and to keep supporting people despite all of the difficulties and risks involved. Um, as well as when it's in terms of delivering food out to people, how could we do that quickly and at scale and to as many different partners as possible. So it's been a time of great energy and commitment to the cause of supporting people at risk and that's what we've applied ourselves to and yeah so I feel really really proud about the team's response. Um, and then I think the flip side is, is that we have had some folk furloughed and that's been tremendously hard for those individuals. Um, you know, not being active, not working is actually a massive challenge for people. So yeah, I have huge, um, you know, regard for all of our colleagues and it's, yeah, it's been a difficult time, but I think at the same time we, we've pulled together and, and we've done the best that we can. In terms of our core purpose as such, then the, the lockdown poses a couple of major concerns. So, so firstly, thinking about um, the jobs that we've created for people with a background of homelessness. So one in three of our employees have a background of homelessness or complex needs. So obviously the last thing we want to do is to risk that employment. Uh, and then secondly, on a day-to-day -day basis, we provide food, um, a warm welcome, support to people with a background of homelessness via our cafe network. So that's roughly 150 people every single day. And I think, you know, that's been our other key concern. How could we safely continue to do that? How can we safely fulfill our mission to, to support people affected by, by homelessness throughout such a difficult period. So that's been top of our mind. In the short term, it's highly likely that 
homelessness will rise, um, especially when the furlough scheme ends, there's likely to be a spike uh, of course of unemployment and because homelessness is so strongly linked to poverty, then homelessness is highly likely to rise. Um, so that's unfortunately what we have ahead of us over the coming months. And then, you know, there's also challenges on the high street for social enterprise and all uh, businesses uh, because, you know, offices are only returning to work slowly, uh, if at all, and city centres are, are highly likely to be much quieter than normal. So lots of challenges for, for anybody involved in hospitality at the moment. There's one change I would love to see stick and that I'm sure will stick, which is increased collaboration between many of the leading charities involved with homelessness in Scotland. So there's been a group of over 20 known as The Collective that has been meeting every couple of weeks via Zoom throughout this time period. And that really just builds on um, a wave of collaboration and energy behind ending homelessness in Scotland that was already underway. So I think that's been tremendously positive and I see that carrying onwards. Um, with respect to more the business side of what we do, um, you know, massive challenges for the high street. And I think obviously the response is to consider, you know, what can be done digitally, what can be done differently. So we're experimenting with delivering out afternoon tea, picnic boxes and so forth to the general public. Um, we're shortly going to be launching a, a subscription service for brownies and making our own cakes. So trying to be innovative, trying to find different customers, different ways of engaging the public in our mission. And uh, yeah, so lots of challenges, but opportunities as well, I think, for the future.